Uh, good morning, brothers and sisters in the Dharma. Um, today, I wanted to share with you is my Dharma stake of my practice. The Dharma stake of my practice. And um, Andy is saying that actually, what is the linkage between these two? Okay. When people ask me, what is Buddhism? They say, use one sentence to tell them what Buddhism is. So my answer is very simple. A way towards happiness. So then they ask, how? Another sentence, or not more than 10 words. So mine is that, no evil, do good. Purify mine. Six words. So it's less than 10 words, right? And this one, to me, is the three pieces. My ama say, Sate actually is not Malay words. It's Hokkien. <laughs> you know why? Sate is what? Sate ba. <laughs> three pieces of meat they put together by a stick. So it becomes sate. <laughs> ah, so it's sate. And then for this one, no evil, do good. Purify your mind, sate. <laughs> so, but you know, if you are supposed, it's very easy to say it. When you want to practice it, it is very difficult because I try to do it and I find that, wow, no evil. You have to keep your five precepts. Do good, a full path, 10 perfections, a lot of things, you know, and you have to remember and you have to speak to, to act mindfully and then thoughts purify your mind so that's why no greed no hatred no illusion we are all have no illusion because you no know, every one of us illusion is what we think that i is the biggest one no? chinese i and you is the same now you write the character more or less the same but in amor you no know, i is capital letter all of you small letter Right. Ah, tell you, I'm the greatest one. And one of my friends told me, what I, man, for me, I look at other people better, bigger, more important than myself. So I told them, I say, okay, I ask you a question. You don't need to answer me. You answered it in your own heart. When a group photo is taken, when it's printed, whom are the person you look at first? <laughs> right? Ourself. Me. Where am I? Do I look nice? And then now you look at people using selfies and post on Facebook. Last time, when you died diary, people look at your diary. You say, that is my what? My privacy. You are not supposed to touch. But now you write everything on Facebook and you want people to look at it. And people don't look at it and don't put like. like. You are very angry. <laughs> Correct. So now I become bigger and bigger. And it is very difficult for us to practice. So I was telling myself, I'm a very lazy bum. And there are so many things I'm supposed to practice. Da, 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 da. Well, make me very stressful. So I'm always thinking, is there a way, only one thing, which I practice, and the three things in one go? And then I told myself, you know, this is why, you know, Bill Gates wanted to hire Lazy Bum. He said that lazy mom normally can find an easy, simple, and effective way. <laughs> so he likes it. And when I was, I think some of you know that when I was overseas doing my master's degree, so the master's degree scholarship is for two years. And I finished in nine months' time on top of this. I also do some subjects for my PhD degree. Then people were thinking, why? Of course I have my lazy way lah. Ah, 
when my friends are very busy in cooking, in washing dishes, everything for their food, their three meals. For me, very simple. Morning, breakfast, then bread and milk. Easy. Lunch and dinner, buy a slow cooker, rice cooker, and then put the aluminium foil inside it and put the rice, water, and then meat, everything I want to eat, all cooked together and cover up. I do my study. When it's ready, okay, open up. Take out the aluminium voice and then wash my hand, use my hand to eat. Lah. Huh? Why our Malay friends and Tamil friends can use their hand? Why I can't? So I use my hand to eat. After eating, <coughs> throw the aluminium foil away, wash my hand. Two, in two minutes time. No need for me to wash pork and everything. Right? So very easy. This is how I can finish it in nine months' time. So, lazy way. And I was telling myself, during Buddha's era, how come his disciples and his followers, seems everyone attend the enlightenment, you know, and they all do very well. How come now, eh? very difficult for us, eh? must find out his secret. Probably, you know, he has taught a method and which lost in somewhere. So I told myself, read his The Life of the Buddha. Once, two, twice, three times, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Until read so many times. And then suddenly, one thing struck me. That is what? Ah, the Buddha attained his enlightenment. He's immediately, he sit there for six, uh, seven days to enjoy his meditation. After that, he stood up and then staring at the Bodhi tree for seven days to show his appreciation to the Bodhi tree for sheltering him while he was fighting towards his enlightenment. And then after that, he keep on, he keep on teaching other things. But you know, in his teaching, he also tell us that to be grateful to our parents, teachers, nation, and all beings. Okay, I find that that is the, to me, he's standing there, watching, staring at the Bodhi tree. It's his first teaching through action, telling us to be gratitude. To have that gratitude. So I was telling myself, if that is the case, can I? Since no, the Buddha once told Adanda, if you want to show respect to me, your highest honor to me, is not by flower or lights, but to follow his way, follow his path. So I was thinking. Okay, I follow and I use, practice the gratitude in my daily life and see what happened to me. And when I practice gratitude in my mind, so slowly, eh, I find that actually, you know, really, without my parents, I won't be like what I am today. They brought me to this, this world. And then they bring me up. And they are also my first teacher to teach me how to speak, how to walk. So all this teaching, without them, they are teaching all the basic skills, which when I go to school, I can learn more. And I can learn more from other people. So actually, I owe them a gratitude. Then my teacher who teach me the knowledge and skill. But now my parents have gone. My teachers have gone since I'm so old already. So my, none of my teachers are still assisting. So whom should I show my gratitude to? I can't. So I told myself, why can't I extend my gratitude 
to other people. To my parents, my parents, if they are alive, they are still they are senior citizens, older than me. So I extend my gratitude to the senior citizen because those senior citizens, they have contributed a lot to what I am today also. Number two, I extend my gratitude to all teachers. My Dharma teacher has been teaching me and then all other teachers. And who are the all other teachers? All of you. All people surrounding me, you know, regardless of age, regardless of sex, regardless of status, because everyone has their strengths, everyone has their shortcoming. I learn and practice their strengths. And I try to alert myself, don't you practice the shortcoming. And I'm improving. On top of this, I also teach my children to respect their teacher. And the outcome is, when they respect their teacher, they can concentrate in the class while the teacher was teaching, is teaching. And then they do well in their study, even without tuition. It's very helpful. And I also feel gratitude to my parents-in-law because they give produce a good son who is my husband. And then, who can be bullied by me also? <laughs> so he has very good nature. Although sometimes he comments on me, like today I put on this one, I say because you know, Angie wants me to put on nicely so that they can take my photo. And my husband say, yeah, no matter, you, know, you wear gown or crown, you still don't look like a queen. <laughs> so, even that is okay. Like this. And then this is why I also respect when my parents around, I, and my parents-in-law around, I respect them a lot. So they have gone now. So who are my parents-in-law nowadays? I, I'm gratitude to my, I'm grateful to my mates who take care of my family so that I can have more time with my family member, I can have more time with my friends, I can have more time for my hobbies. I really, you know, appreciate her a lot. This is why I and my family member, we try to do some of her work when we can, like tidy our bed, lah, like washing our bowl and plates lah, and all that after our food. Okay? And my mate also very kind to me concern and care about me and sometimes you no know, over concern and over care so like today i come here to give talks when i go back if there's visitors coming to visit me my mate will come out and interfere and they he will she will tell the visitor do you know that she has worked the whole morning and very tired now so please don't sit for too long <laughs> and all my friends and relatives regard my mate as my mother-in-law. <laughs> and when I went out to run and come back, and when I sit down and take a rest, she will come and interview, saying that, you know, hi yeah, sweating so much. Go and take a shower and sit down. Ah. Ah, she's like that. But you feel that, you know, she's very, really very sincere when she tells you all this. And so every time when I get up, you know, I was telling, even though I have the gratitude in mind, I, especially when I go overseas, I appreciate my nation because you know, it's safe and comfortable life. My nation provides me. When you go other places, you find PSI 150. You feel very terrible. But here, it's not so bad. It's comparatively to other countries, you feel very safe, especially at night when you go out and you come back, you find very safe. You don't worry for anything. But my son said that, Mom, of course, no need to worry that because you are so old, nobody cares. <laughs> uh, even the, no, even the, 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 the human track, uh, this one, 
uh, checker or something like that, huh? they won't want you because you know you're worth nothing. Uh, so, but like this, but we still feel very safe and our children go out, we also feel safe. Then to all beings, you see, without the farmer, I got no food to eat. Without the worker, we cannot stay here. Hmm? We have to be exposed in light, under the sunlight. So, and without the hmm, all, um, all walk, people from all walks, we cannot have such a comfortable life today. So I always feel appreciation. I really, you know, I really appreciate them a lot, a lot, a lot. Without all people. And like today, if BF don't invite me here to give the talks, and <clears throat> I cannot share with you, and then if this building, we don't have this building, we also cannot be here and then sharing, share. And without all of you here, I have to speak to the four walls. So I appreciate all of you. You see, appreciation. But I cannot just appreciate in mind. I have to do something in action. So every morning, I decide that. Every morning, when I get up, hmm, I must do something. So always, I meditate in bed. And then, first thing, I smile to myself and telling myself and telling my past karma, thank you very much because you have done a good job. This is why for this life, I have a human body. And according to Sutta, human body is very precious because you know, among the six realms, that's the only realm which we can practice and attain enlightenment. And we are all very lucky to have human body. So I appreciate my past life very much. That's what the Buddha say. You want to get a human body. It's very, very difficult. How difficult it is, it is just like a turtle in the ocean. And every 100 years, this turtle just stretch out his head once. And then in the ocean, there's also a hook floating from here and there. And when this turtle stretched uh, stretch his head up just nicely in the hook, hey, how difficult it is, no? 100 times and got one chance and still not necessary to be in the hook. So we are very hang. We have done a lot of good things. That's why we can have our human body in this life. And we better put it in good use. And then the other thing is that although we have the human body, if we want to lose it very easy, Buddha said, if you want to get it back, it's just like the mud in a bird's crawl. You want to lose it, it's like the mud in the whole world. Chances of losing our human body is very great. So I thank my body, my human body. At the same time, I also tell myself, I thank my, this life's body. Why? I'm very lucky to have my health, good health. I can see, I can hear, I can smell, I can think, I can talk, I can eat. I can hold things, hold the mic, I can walk and run. I'm very much luckier. I'm very much lucky comparing to others. So should I continue to, have, to do this type of good things? Yes, appreciate having the body. So I wish my body to continue to be well. And if my body is sick, I also appreciate the illness because it is warning me that, okay, you are overworked. Now is the time for you to step on the brake or slow down. Everything worth my 
appreciation. And then from that, I appreciate, I send the good thoughts to my parents and par my parents-in-law who have passed away, who passed away. And then think of my husband's a company, caring, and then telling me what I have done wrong. And thinking of my children for providing me joys when they are around and the mates. So, when I, after thinking of the family member, then I think of my friends, my relatives, and then even those strangers. Ah, and last time, I got some people I dislike. I also think of them, and thinking when I, once I think of them, I find that actually, the bad things they show onto me, uh, they scold me, they do this, they also want me to be good. So I appreciate them a lot. And then when they scold me, that time I was angry, but later in the morning, I find that it's good. Because Achan Cha say, if people scold you as a dog, you are a dog, look at the back. See whether you've got a tail. If you have a tail, you are a dog. So you have no reason to be angry. You are a dog. Right? And then if you look at the back, you've got no, no tails. That means you don't do any mistake. You do no tails. Then you are not a dog. They are not scolding you. Why are you being angry? That's right. So every time when I think of all these things, I send my gratitude to all of them. And then after that, then I meditate for a while. And then I share the merit with them. All of them. One by one. From near to far. From those I know well to those I don't know well. Slowly doing this. After that, I get up. I step into my room, in, in the bathroom. And then, before I stepped in the bathroom, eh, I saw my husband. So I smile at him and say, Good morning. Now, very used to do it. When first time I did it, my husband thought that I got high fever. <laughs> so he touched my forehead. Because every morning when I look at him, I am why so. Why so slow? Let me have the bathroom. Nah. Then, then, no, good morning. Oh, he's so happy. Touching. Bo bo siyo le. And then, when I was brushing my teeth and washing my face, and I was telling myself, every time I tell myself, what wow, you hang. Last night, didn't die in bed. Today, you still get more time to, to repent and to, good, to do good things. Okay, then happily, coming out from the room, greeting to everybody in the family. And then eating every either breakfast or any meals when I eat. My Christian friend, they pray. They thank God for providing them food. For me, I also pray. But my prayer is longer than they do. This is why my Christian friend, when they are eating with me, they, they always tell me, how come uh, you are so long? I say, because you pray to one person, I pray to many persons. <laughs> ah, because no, I pray to the farmer, I pray to the businessman for traveling that, and then I pray to the cook who cooked the food and all that. And I pray to the, those people who serve us. So a lot of things to pray. Eh? So many people to pray so slower. Lah. <laughs> ah, this is why. And every morning I do so, lunch I do so, dinner I do so. Because I really appreciate those people. And when I step out from my house, then I also do something, as what the Buddha say. Something, although you, know, you can do dana to people, which you need to use money, and there are also dana, no need to use money one. So what is it? I step out from my house. Okay, when you're traveling in the lift, when people wanted to come in, press the button, no, wait for people to come in. This one very easy one. And then when you go out or go in here and there in the office, in every place, in shopping center, when we go in, we pull the, the door, we go in. When people are coming in, stop the door for them to come in. No? Also not, not take up much of our time. This is why I was saying that 
When we do this type of thing, very easy, especially when you look at people, you smile. Smile is an international language which show you that, what? I like you. I have no bad intention towards you. But young girls and young boys, be careful. When you do the smiling, make sure that you smile to the right people. That is your classmate, your friend and all that. If you smile to the strangers, people may think that, you know, oh, old people also, you know? Ah, especially old men huh, also. <laughs> Otherwise, people may mistake you and thinking that you are DOM or something like that. You know? And then for young girls and young boys, you may create trouble for yourself. Okay? So be careful in this. But for me, it's okay. Uh, because oh, already, nobody is, nobody is, uh, is so interested in you. So you smile, people happy. That's what the Buddha say. Smiling is a, a type of dana. You have no anger, but smiling. That's a dana. Because nobody wants to see a poker face all the time. Then that's every day I do when I go up the bus and I'm walking, you know. So I see those uh, public uh, gardens, gardeners, foreigners, and all that. Everybody, I say, good morning, good morning, good morning. One day I was sick uh, early this year uh, because I got stroke. I was hospitalized. And then they saw my maid and they asked my maid, hey, 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 good morning, auntie, where? <laughs> uh, then my maid say hospital. Then they want to ask. My maid say, no, 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 I don't know. Mm, very interesting. So you build up the relationship with them. Because you know, to me, I was thinking, when I read the sutra, they told us that those people whom we meet are either our family member or friends in our past life. And those people who punish us or who do bad things against us are the enemies we offend in our past life. So to me, I feel that Payback law, why so great? So when every time when I go up to the bus stage, bus stop, I greet the driver. When I get down, I say thank you. Become my usual work, you know. And the bus driver, they are very nice. Every time they see me, when I run fast, you know, sometimes I'm a bit late to the bus station and they came already. And then I run and then bus driver. <laughs> ah, they don't want me to fall down. It's very kind of them. And you really appreciate them a lot. And MRT, ah, many people see my this pattern, they let me have the seats. <laughs> Correct? They let me. Because you know, uh, to Buddha, giving seats is one of the dana. Ah, so they let me have the seats. And they let me the seats. When I see people are more fragile than me, I give them my seats also. Because it's an exchange. And some of you here have heard about my story of my giving seats in MRT and I got scolding. Uh, because one time when I went up, people let me have a seat. And for one more station, and then, then I saw somebody coming up, an old lady, and also carry a lot of things. So I quickly stand up and let her have a seat. And she looked at me very angrily and say, you think I'm older than you are? Uh? So very jealous. And then I quickly, you know, quickly say, no, 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 no. You don't look older than me. Uh, because uh, I see you carrying a lot of things. That's why I let you have the seat. See me carry a lot of things. Don't help me to carry. Huh? <laughs> sit down. So I quickly sit down. And then, then she put all the packages onto my laps. And after putting it on, I find that, hey, how come so cold? Eh? So I look, look at it. Wow, wow. Got chicken. Got fish, got that. Then after that, she put on it. Probably her trousers is going to drop. Like, so she just pulled up her trousers. After that, she said, stand up. So I quickly stand up. And she take all the trousers and, and then she sit down. And when I stood up, suddenly I find that, eh, my trousers are wet, you know. I say a bit paise. People may think that, no, this is a or a Then I feel, I don't know what to do, you know. Then later, I was telling myself, change. I told myself, never mind. Lao Chabo, Lao Diu, Lao Diu. 
it's automatically like that one. So then after that, I talk to her. Uh, then later, when I get down, and she bye-bye to me. So I told myself, I'm very hang. She could be my enemies for the past life, and then I could have bullied her. So now she pay back. And then she, now she smile to me, I smile to her for, my, for our next life. No enemies already. So happily. We, I also feel grateful to meet her. And recently, I met her in, a, in a, this uh, uh, shopping mall. And she saw me. She said, hey, 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 hey. I looked at her. I couldn't remember, you know. And she told me, she said, you remember? Last time you let me have the seat, I scolded you. I said, wow, she still remember. Then I, I looked at her. I said, yeah. Why you scold me? Ah? Ah, yeah, you don't know. Nah. The day I was so angry. I said, why? Then she said, because oh, when I went to buy all these things, ah, I keep on choosing. And then the, the hawker scolded me and said that, Lao Zha Bo, I Mao Huan. So I was very angry with the Lao, you know, because they call me Lao Zha Bo, my old woman, so troublesome. Then, so when I went up, then you let me have a seat. So I'm very angry. Do I look really very old or not? <laughs> no wonder. She was angry, so she scolded me. That is called link car accident. Right? Chain car accident. One, one car knocked at another car, another car for no reason looked and then another one in front. That's the thing. This is why sometimes you know, we don't care about all these type of things. Ah, when you feel gratitude. And then I really, you know, really very thankful to her. Because she gave me a test of my patience. She gave me a test of whether I'm really gratitude, grateful to people. She gave me a test whether on my pride. She gave me a test on my hatred. That's why I'm really thankful to her. And then after that, everything happened, you forget about it. You're happy again. You see? So, and then to my family member, last time I'm, I was quite critical. Anything, no, forget. I'm very angry. If my husband forget about the, our wedding anniversary, about my birthday, I will, of course, like, kenal her, him. Na. And then later, I become better. So every year, if he forget, then I will remind him three times. So I got three gifts. Not bad, not one year got three gifts, no, because he forgot. So he quickly go and buy, then, then I got it. He got right. Uh, then later, when during our 40th anniversary, that was about uh, five years, six years ago. So I told myself, don't be so greedy. La. Better huh? um, hint him so that he can do a more proper one. So early in the morning, when he was having the breakfast together, reading the newspaper, and then, so I hint him. I say, dear, can you remember that? We have been sitting on the same chair for 40 years. <laughs> That's very, very uh, severe hint, right? <laughs> but this blur chap, no? He put down the newspaper, looking at me, and asked gently, do you want to change that chair? <laughs> really cannot tahan him, you know. Uh, if, if for last time, if for la last time, usually I would scold him. But at the juncture, I feel grateful. I say, oh, I really hang, you know. He didn't, mention, he didn't say that, Lao Zha Bo, why you sit here? Who are you? Oh, hang. So that children, if they come back late, last time I would scold them and telling them that, you know, you think that this is a hotel, huh? come back so late, blah, 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 blah. but they never change. Now, um, not now, a few years ago, when they came back late, I just tell them that, oh, you, you came back so late, huh? before you come back, I'm very worrying about you, you know, about your safety and all, blah, 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 blah. Oh, from then onward, they come back very early. <laughs> Because you know why? They know that you are worrying about you, about them. You see? So they understand you. They understand your 
concern and care. This is why it is very important to practice. And one time when I bought, uh, bought things you know, from NTUC, which is near, near my place, and I carry a lot of things, and I met the foreign worker who are doing the work, sweeping the, 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 the road. And he saw me. And he said, Auntie, Auntie, heavy. So I thought that he's saying, saying that I'm too fat, you know, too heavy. So I said, Auntie, no heavy. No, 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 Auntie, heavy. Then came and get all my things and accompany me home. I really appreciate all these people. And the postman, they come. And then all those delivery people, when they come, hot day. And all those workers, foreign workers, no, they, Sometimes, no, I just give them a cup of water, a cup of tea. They are very happy. But it's nothing to us, no, but it's something to them. And this is the way we show our appreciation, we show our gratitude. Uh, gratitude, we show, we have, do, we do our dana. Dana is not necessary to do at any moment. Uh, to do at certain, sorry, to do at certain occasion. Dana can be done at any moment. When there's a need, we do it. When there's a need, we do it. So it is very, very simple. No wonder the Buddha say in, the, in this Mangra Sutra, it says that gratitude is uh, the greatest value, it is a sign, it is a good sign. And it is not only the greatest value, it is the mother of all the best. And when I practice this, I find that, you know, I'm happier and happier because everybody is so nice to me. I'm happier and happier. And I find that when people do good, when people are praised, I'm also very happy to praise them. I'm po pointing finger at saying, this one is wrong, that one da, 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 wrong. Less and less. But putting this one up, more and more. So I tell myself, actually I'm living in a heaven. So many people concerned about me, they are caring for me, I really appreciate them so much. And no more suspicions. I remember that last time I got suspicious. I, many of them, many of you may have heard about my story of my suspicions gone. Reduced, not really gone that time. And why? Because you know, one time my friend brought me uh, dinner in a restaurant and I got stomach problem. So I quickly rushed to a toilet, and there are two rooms. One room is, got some people occupied, is occupied. Another room, empty. So I rushed into the empty room, and I close the door and sit down. While I sit down, next door. Hello, how are you? Oh, yeah. I told myself, Singapore's courtesy campaign starts to show my courtesy. So I quickly answer, I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> uh, then continuously she asked a question, what are you up to? Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> I was telling myself, alamak, let's talk to me. <laughs> when you go to a toilet, what can you do? <laughs> so, but to, answer, to, to be courteous, so I answer saying that, um, oh, same as you. La. <laughs> and she doesn't, she didn't stop, you know, she continued to ask, come out already? <laughs> so my answer is, some has been out, some not yet. <laughs> wow, she was so, she, she jumped up and saying that, ay ya, what get there? She go sell it. The next room come a mad person. All the questions I ask you, she answered. I will call you later. <laughs> How do 
I know that, you know, she's using her handphone in the toilet. <laughs> and from then onward, I was telling myself, hey, don't think that everybody say things are because of me, you know. I'm not so great. Ah, then slowly. And then now, even less. Even people even talk about me, I also don't feel. Uh, my husband said that, and now I have thick skin. I say not only thick, also got spring. <laughs> what? Once you woke up, uh, people feel more sore, you know. So, actually, that's what the Buddha say. This is an imperfect world. And everybody have their own perception. So, sometimes you think that is the meat. They think that's a poison to them. And if you want the whole world to praise you, or the whole world to scold you or condemn you. It wasn't happened in the past, not happening now, it will never happen in the future. So why do we worry? The most important thing is that I find that I am what? I'm clear. I am have I'm having my good intention. And slowly, when I do this type of things, you know, and I practice the gratitude in my daily life, not only I'm happy, I have more and more friends. I have less and less enemy. I'm less and less people whom I dislike. And then, I was telling myself, eh, how happened? What happened to my meditation? Eh? So I pay attention to my meditation. And I find that when I sit down, immediately I can go in already. Very easy. Because the last time, I always feel that I regret. Regret of what? Of my past speech and action. I regret. Ah, yeah. Should I know this outcome? I should not have said so or done so. Keep on having regret. But regret is useless. Right? And then I also have worry. Why worry? Worrying about when I, worrying about what? Worrying about, you know, okay, I say this, I've done this. Will that happen? What will that happen to me? Will people respect me or not? Will people uh, laugh at me or not? Will people con comment on me or not? But now, I watch out one already because it's not important to me. I feel it's not important to me. How people feel, how people do. Not important. That's in their own karma account book. What I have done, what I have speak, spoken, what I have done are all in my karma account book. It is my account. It is my bank account. So all good things I think, all good things I speak, all good things I've done, all in my deposit. Bet Thoughts I have, negative thoughts I have, negative speech, negative action, or withdrawal. And when I go, this passport, come account, will decide where I should be. So that's the most important thing. I am only responsible for myself. This is why. And then the gratitude helped me. To, to have more deposit, less withdrawal. And it has helped me a lot. And it has helped me. Now I find that, eh, purifying my mind. Gratitude. Speak. Speak. Mindfully. Behave mindfully. Eh, automatically, no need to, to think of it. It comes automatically. So I find that it actually you know, helps me a lot, a lot. So I told myself, this one could be my satay steak in my Dharma practice. And I continuously try to do it some more because I've been using, I've been doing it for about more than 10 years. And I find that the whole situation surrounding me, environment has been changed. And I myself has been changed. It has changed me into a different person. 
And this is why I was telling myself, hey, on top of this, uh, reading sutra and all that, I should also expand my view to those people who pass away. Because they left behind their writing. They left behind their recording. So I learned from them. And it really upgraded my knowledge. It really upgraded my wisdom. And I, I, I can tell you, I appreciate a lot of the environment surrounding me. Now I, tell, I can tell myself, I am growing up every day instead of growing old every day. And I hope all of you, because you know, the uh, Buddha say, Dharma, the Dharma is the greatest gift. And then the greatest gift needs the greatest gratitude. This is why I was telling myself, I should not keep my, my learning and my practicing only to myself. Probably I can share. And then if you feel that it could be, you no. Know, certain part could be used or something like that, it's good. If you feel that it does not suit you, you have your own, because everybody has their own dharma stick, uh, sati stick. Some people suitable for this, some people suitable for that, like dress, like clothing and shoes. This is why dharma, Buddha taught meditation, there are 40 men, four zero methods. So that's what I'm sharing today. I hope that I'm not wasting too much of your time because you no, know, if waste people's time means that I'm stealing. <laughs> so I, I just, based on um, this, what I talk, actually I prepare also, you no, know, but I try not to, lah, not to take it out to challenge myself of my memory. And maybe, you know, I missed some part. And then the other thing, <laughs> the other thing is that, you know, today is the Junior Kids Fundraising Day. Ah, okay. So y'all can also, this are what we support them. This is a good time for our dana. Because, you know, support them, and then, because the fund will go to the EQUAL Arc Singapore Limited. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> uh, huh? Maybe later, uh, later, then you all can express more. And then this one is very good. Um, because you know, every time, all the food, uh, oh, yeah, this one, uh, they say, they are a charity organization with IPC status that rehabilitates at risk use, persons with special needs, families and elderly with clinical depression and dementia through working with therapy horses or use the horses. Yeah, that's very good. Huh? And Food were prepared by the parents. So probably all of us, we can do something on this. This is a very good chance for our dana and our showing gratitude to this group. Huh? So let us do something. It's a good chance. Okay? Thank you. So maybe you know, all want to... Thank you, Dr. Ang. Shall we say sadhu three times? Sado, sado, sado. I should say sado, sado to all of you. Okay. Uh, I don't know. You want to have question and answer? You can. Can okay. Still, we stick to the statistic. Okay, three questions. All right. So, who want to go first? The statistic. Yeah. Good morning. I would like to take this uh, opportunity, uh, first to express my gratitude to Dr. Ang. Uh, as we all respect her as a teacher, being an educator for so long, uh, to me, more than just a teacher, at times she looks like my mother. 
uh, mentor, uh, these uh, what do you call uh, sisters, mm. and also our karmita of friends in the Buddhist community. Now, I really feel very blessed and grateful for able to learn so much from Dr. Ang. Every time she will try, not only even to try, I think that's is the nature, to put herself in the level. No matter whether you are high or low educated, it's very easy to be connected with her. And that's how many of us uh, in those days who are not really uh, able to understand the chimology, the task, are able to benefit so much uh, from her sharing and her life experience. So for that, I always uh, feel that uh, uh, we are able to come together in BF uh, and to be able to learn the Dharma in such a way that is so beneficial. Uh, all the experiences that she has, uh, she's willing to share with us and uh, make us feel very comfortable. So uh, once again, Dr. Tan, thank you very much. Thanks, 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 T. Actually, T is also the person whom I learn from. He is very quiet and he do it quietly. And he's not like me, you know, very chicha one. Uh, uh, this is why, you know, I chicha a lot at home. And when people try to invite me to do dharma sharing, my husband is very happy. Because he said that at least, you no, know, during that period, he could have a quiet time at home. <laughs> and T has done a lot. Especially, you know, I really respect you, you know, for doing... He is not proud. And he, he did a lot for those that one. And then for the family, eh? counsel the family, and make the family very, f not only the, the death one, whether the death one is peaceful or not, I don't know. But the family of the dead, they are very peaceful, and they are very uh, serene. I feel that is very important. Thanks, T, actually. And I'm not, actually, I'm not the man, man, man or something like that. No, I'm not. Because if they want to learn Xiao, they can learn Xiao from me. Uh, I'm very Xiao one. And then the, the other thing is that, you know, um, the, the so-called, then I forget already. So, <laughs> many things, you see, dementia is on the way. That's why I, I, I urge you to quickly support this group. <laughs> ah. <laughs> huh? Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you, doc, uh, Dr. Ang, for the interesting, insightful, and entertaining talk. Thank you, thank you. Because <laughs> talking about the Chim one, I don't know. Okay, I can only talk about the, the one, Chien one. Huh? one. One very simple question. You, you started the talk by talking about Facebook and how people take photo and then put on Facebook and then look at your photo. So my question is that in most of the Facebook that you see, there's no statistic inside there. It's all about uh, uh, all the positive things, all the uh, enhancement. It, it's an ego trip. That means you are, either you are taking the picture with like, Li Sang Dong or this film star. And all this star. So this, this kind of Facebook is not very good for Buddhism because it's all about ego. So what do you think? No, actually, this one is for them to memory, memorize. I think that's also a good thing. What I say is that I just use it as a joke, you see. So don't take it too seriously. <laughs> don't take it too seriously. Because no, they can share what they are doing, especially with those who are not staying in the same country, same place. Then they can communicate with each other. I think that's also very important. It's good communication. But one thing is that when you put on the Facebook and all that things, you have to be very careful. Because sometimes no, those scandals and then uh, those bad people may use your data to do something. One of my friends, um, his data has been used. So no, people try to send the email or WhatsApp to many of his friends, his group, and saying that he was kidnapped. And then want people to pay money you know, to let him go. So be careful about that. Uh, when you all do, do, do this type of thing in, on the Facebook, on website, on email. Uh, and then we check or something like that. Now, nowadays, yeah. I appreciate all the high tech. And then the, all the high tech booty me. You see, just now, when I came in, the high tech also booty me. That's why the chanting you know, stopped for so long. Uh, and then, you know, 
always now I don't use the I don't do the projector or the point the pointer and project uh, projector because every time when I do my hard work you know when I press a button all disappear <laughs> no no why I want to save but it disappear they always bully me because no then this is why my husband say he's a computer person IT person he said because no all the high tech thing knows that you are an idiot in this area. Okay, last order of sati. Anybody want the last order of sati? If no, that means I confuse uh. them. Nah. Either convince <laughs> them or confuse them. So they say you cannot convince, you confuse them. What I can describe Dr. Ah in Hokkien, they say is, uh, Lao si lao ah, pei hu kokut, engine still very good. Ah. <laughs> oh, agree, no. Huh? Everybody this agree? This was Andy say, this was yes. Andy say, no. <laughs> Everybody agree, go to a Facebook and press like, Chan. <laughs> <laughs> That's Andy, not me. <laughs> okay, all right, uh, very quick announcement because uh, time's getting up. Okay, uh, next Sunday.